Hey guys, I'm Chase Han, and this is Man Up Gaming. So, today, we're going to work on my Audi TT. As you can see here, it's already quite taken apart. But we are going to be doing all of the coolant hoses, all of the boost hoses, coolant necks, deleting the PCV system, getting rid of all of this bullshit. This is the N249 right here. Don't need that. <coughs> Um, yeah, basically all this has to go. So, there are no videos on this for you on YouTube. So, I'm going to be doing my best to give you guys a guide. Won't be perfect, because I'm figuring this shit out too. But, hopefully videotaping it will allow me to remember what I'm doing and not lose stuff. So, let's get to it. So, after you got your radiator support and, so and bumper off, headlights, battery out, you should have everything you see here. This is N249. You just take this off of here. You can find a guide for that, it's easy. This is for your radio, actually. I broke that, so I need to get a new one. Don't do that. This bitch sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, you gotta get the bracket out of there just from 5.5 millimeter Allen bolts. Right now, I am working on taking the coolant neck off. So I've already taken the coolant temperature sensor out right here. Yep, replacing this cool neck with a uh, cast aluminum one because this sheet plastic sucks. So I am going to get this line off, this line off, and this line off here. So let's do it. All right, I'm having a bit of trouble getting this one off here. So I'm also gonna take this off. This is getting replaced. I am recording this, so I remember this. This one right here goes to here. Right? This piece right here connects to the radiator, placing this line. This T here goes from this one that's just sticking up here. This, uh, where did this go to? Oh, these hoses right here go to this thing. Damn. Ooh, look at that. Definitely want to replace that. So, I am going to start removing this. If you're going to do this, you're going to want one of these things. They take out these clamps, and without it, these things are a nightmare. So, get yourself one of these, like 10 bucks. Yeah. Easy. Yep, let's get her. Alright, I'm going to struggle with this for a minute, and get this off, this off, and this off. Let's do it. So, when you're doing this, you're gonna to wanna to replace these things one at a time so you don't lose track of them. Got myself my nice Forge Motorsport kit here. Best of the best, you know. Only $450 for some silicone pipes. Completely reasonable, but oh well. Let's figure out which one goes to this piece and replace it. This looks right to me. So, three, two, one. Boom! There we go. That didn't take an unreasonable amount of time, but it's on there now. So, I'm gonna set this right here, and try to not forget where it goes. Next, let's undo this bit. So, three, two, boom! So that's off. Now this piece has to come off of that. So let's just give it a good old tug. Oh, I'm moving my car, okay. So how to my wonderful girlfriend that's helping me. You're gonna be famous. Okay. I'm gonna figure out how to get this whole piece off and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got this piece off the coolant neck here, but it's all one piece. This is connected to this. I see. So this hose goes down here and that's gonna be fun to get off. I can already see that. Oh boy, let's do it. So, this coolant neck is in the way. This goes here. I need to get this off, but I can't because this is in the way. So I'm gonna take this coolant neck off. Let's do it. So I got the coolant neck off of there. Um, that's pretty much out. Just fighting with this down here, which connects to the bottom of this one. It's the one that's uh, attached to that. And then, 
this line here, which runs down here and to the oil filter. So both of these, well, one of them goes oil filter, so they off. But those are gonna be fun. Let's do it. So I got this piece out. It goes in here like that, but under this. So this right there goes to the block, and that connects there. All right. All right, guys. So I got this out, and I remembered that I don't even need this piece because I have metal ones. So this goes in here, something like that. Hell yeah. Okay, guys. So I got this all put together, and right now I'm actually working on taking off the actual secondary air injection, well, a commie valve here. So I have a plate that goes over this, so I'm gonna get this off and install that. So there we go. I don't know if you can see right there, but it's off and these two bolts in this gasket came out. So don't lose these, put it back on. Alrighty, so we have the combi valve out. It's right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do one of these. And this is gone. So these vacuum lines, that go down here. This one just goes to this. This is getting deleted, so we don't need that. Then this one goes up here. Somewhere. And I believe, yep, this just goes to N249. So this will get pulled out when I take this intake manifold off. Let's do it. So now get our block off plate, put it on this one back there. Okay guys, so before you put the block off plate on, let me see if I can get you a view right here. Sorry my camera's kind of blurry, not focusing right. You're gonna wanna take the sandpaper and clean this off pretty good. It's probably not completely necessary, but I'm gonna do it just so it gets a good seal. And there we go. SAI block off plate is on. So now I'm gonna deal with the rest of these fucking coolant hoses. Because those are gonna be fun. And then put on the new aluminum coolant neck. And somewhere. And yeah, probably gonna stop for the day and continue tomorrow. Alright, see you guys. Alright, I am gonna take one last thing off before I finish up for the day. So you have the coolant neck here. It has this pipe going down here from the bottom of the coolant neck. This is the one that goes into this side of the oil filter housing. This other one here that goes into the back part of the oil filter housing goes from there to there. So, Let's get this bitch of a clamp off, and then, uh, yeah. All right, so I got the fuel injectors pulled out. These have little clips on them. There. Just gotta take out these two screws, the fuel rail comes out. I'm including these injectors here. So now, I'm gonna take this intake manifold off. All right, so I've got the intake manifold out, all the bolts are out. I cut these two lines from the N249. Don't need that anymore. And, let's see. Oops. Should come out. Do with those lines in a second. There we go. Intake manifold. Let's get this thing cleaned up. So now, gotta deal with this coolant neck here. So next, I gotta get the thermostat housing out, this dipstick tube I broke out, and all this PCV junk here. So this PCV neck block breather right here, I have a new one of these. I'm just gonna run that straight from this up to here. I have a new one of these, and we're gonna run it to a catch can that will mount probably here. So uh, yeah, let's see what to do. All right, guys, so uh, I did a lot, got to film. So, intake pulled off, got the injectors out. 
took the charge pipe off, took these boost pipes that go to the charge pipe off because I got new ones. Shit. Now, took the valve cover off. So, um, I'll see you when I make some progress. Alrighty. So, got all these connectors undone and taking the coils out now. Next is the valve cover. Yeehaw! Alright guys, so it is a new day. I have done some stuff. Valve cover is off. I have polished the intake manifold, charge whip, and valve cover. Next, I gotta paint this. I'm gonna leave the rest. They're fine. And I am putting the coolant neck back on right now. So, come together. Alright, quick cool update here. Got the thermostat and thermostat housing on. Lower radiator pipe. Removed all of the uh, EVAP system in here. That's gone. Removed the EVAP canister. It was right here. That's gone. Uh, EVAP solenoid. It's gone. Now, just starting to get stuff put back on. Let's do it. Well, not too bad for a week's work. Let's get going. All right, so I've got the intake manifold here. I'm gonna do a uh, valve cover gas or throttle body gasket on. Got the new boost pipes on here. All of this is uh, put back together. So I'm gonna put the intake manifold back on now. And then I might still paint this. We'll see though. Kind of running out of time. All right, let's get back to it. All right, got the throttle body on. Got the intake manifold spacer or phenolic spacer slash gasket on here. Gonna put this bad boy on the studs and put these bolts on, or these nuts on. Let's do it. So, I got the intake manifold on, secured down with the phenolic spacer. Put the injectors in, put the fuel rail on, put the fuel regulator on here, and ran a boost line down to this little port right there. And on this other one, I run a line to the diverter valve up here. So I'm going to do that once I get the valve cover on. So yeah, turns out these cheap Chinese lines don't really fit. So I might have to revert back to stock. All right guys, so I kind of forgot to film this, but I cleaned up the valve cover with some sandpaper and now I'm giving it a primer coat and do wrinkle red. So that's gonna be pretty cool. All right, so we got the first couple of coats. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've done quite a bit of work because my phone were completely right out of storage. So I've had to go back and delete some stuff. But I still wasn't, didn't have enough storage left. So I was kind of SOL for a minute and I got to make this short. But as you can see, I've done a lot. Valve cover, we got the coils in, got all of the boost lines on, got the, uh, Diverter valve in the right way. That's how it's supposed to be sideways. Freaking Ranger. <laughs> anyway, got all of the boost lines hooked up, and I'm working on putting the radiator support back on right now and getting this up. I hope to have water in this thing today. I did start it out on Friday, and it started up no engine codes. So let's hope for the best. I will see you when I get this thing on. Let's do it. All right, so we got the front radio support on, got all the lines on it connected, sensors done. Now, let's put in some water. So far, so good. I am, I'm gonna fill her up, and if there's any problems, I will get back on the camera. I didn't get that part. 
What? I didn't get that part. All right, so me and my wonderful girlfriend made a lot of progress over here. Got the front rad support on and uh, got this hooked up. Having some problems with the O-rings on these leaking, as you can see down here. So I'm gonna need to figure that out, but just got the strut mount back on and just buttoning things back up. So, yeah. All right, guys. So I got everything together got these on finally they were leaking so i had to uh put some duct tape around there because they were 15 mils too small and now they're solid so i actually just took it for the first test drive and uh ran good and it was turbo fluttering i'll go take it for another one so i can show you but i did have a cooling system leak somewhere so i it's nowhere obvious that i can see so i'm gonna get the old coolant tester or pressure tester out and give it a whirl and find where this is so it looks like there we go well at least it's easy to get to at least it's easy to get to i just don't want to touch that until it cools down a little bit got still boiling okay you're steaming from right here. I don't see where it could be shooting out though. It looks like. There we go. Well, at least it's easy to get to. At least it's easy to get to. I just don't want to touch that until it cools down a little bit. Got still boiling. Okay. Check this crap out. This plastic is turned into like foam. Look at that. No wonder it broke. Yuck. All right. All right, guys. So here's the first real drive. Ooh, got some front flutter. So I think that means the diverter valve is not hooked up correctly. And you can hear the brakes grinding a little bit. That's because it's sat outside for two weeks. So I should go in a second, I hope. Otherwise I installed them wrong. But I got a check engine light on, I scanned that. And that's just for the uh, EVAP solenoid, I think. Cause I need to put that back on still. But yeah, seems to drive good. No more leaks, I fixed those. Got some nice flutter sounds and a running car. So this has been a fun little two week adventure. Woo! That sounds pretty good. I know it's not good for the turbo, so I'm gonna fix it. But hell yeah, guys. That is how you do all the deletes, uh, new radiator, new radiator hoses, and all that stuff and more in your 2001 Audi TT. Obviously, this is not the best video out there. Um, my phone ran out of storage a couple times, so I didn't catch everything, but hopefully it should be a basic guide on how to do this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, guys, it's Chase from the future, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took a lot of work. I put in, I think it was, 59 hours into this project over the course of the last month of my school year and it was a blast right and there should be lots more car content coming out in the near future if you guys are into that now on this channel this is man up gaming so if you want me to post it here i will but i also have just started a new channel dedicated to cars but i might just keep it on this one because we have a better audience on here like we have more people more exposure so just let me get, let me know guys and I'll do whatever. But I hope you enjoyed this video and like I said, more content coming in the near future cuz the car broke. So my wall is looking a little bit empty. Might be due to car parts. 
So, full suspension teardown coming next two months or so. So, see you then, guys. And thank you for watching Man Up Gaming.